Hello everybody, I'm going to make a video of chesstempo.com and its tactics uh, problems that it gives you. Um, I want you to kind of see what I'm doing on it and uh, maybe if you haven't ever tried Chess Tempo, this might inspire you to try it. And if you have, then you know exactly what, what this is going to be like. Basically, I am starting off with a position on the board and it will tell me uh, whose turn it is, or which side I'm playing basically and you have to find the best move. The best move usually will win at least two pawns worth of material and it will be forced so at least a minimum of two pawns, sometimes more, sometimes it'll be mate. You never know exactly what you're looking for but you basically just find the best possible move for the side that you're playing and there's no time limit. I'm doing the standard problem set which means that there's no time limit. I could take you know, two days to figure out the solution as long as I figure it out correctly the first time. Uh, there is a possibility of doing blitz on here in which I think you have a minute to figure it out. Uh, it seems like sometimes there's less time than that. I've gotten, uh, I've lost rating points for solving it in less than a minute before it seems like. I need to look that up. I never have been quite sure how that works, but I generally don't do the blitz uh, problems very often, so uh, today I'm going to be doing standard. My standard rating is 1520, and I'll track that. I know it's off screen for you right now, so I'll just have to do it verbally. I'll let you know what my uh, standard tactics rating is after each problem. So right now it's 1520, so I'm going to click start, and we're going to take a look at the first problem. And you can see that we're playing white, and black has moved F6. So uh, right away I see that the knight is attacked. I see that the pawn is pinned to uh, this rook on f8, so I don't think he could really take it anyway. But uh, let's see, his knight is under attack from my queen, defended by his queen. There's an X-ray attack on on the knight. So I don't see quite right away what I should be doing. Uh, so I'm going to look. Knight c4 attacking the queen, which would expose that to two attacks and that. So that's what I think it is. I'm going to look at knight c4 first. I'm going to look at some other possibilities also, but I'm pretty sure knight c4 is going to be it. Is there anything to queen g3? Probably not. If I do queen g3, he could just move. I'm going to go ahead and say it's knight c4. Okay, good. So now I should be attacking this knight twice, but my knight is under attack from the queen, so it's a counterattack. So if I take with the rook, he takes with the he takes my knight with his queen, so I have to take with the queen. And then I just recapture. Alright, so I got that one correct, and I gained 6.6 .6 rating points. I'm up to 1526.9, basically 1527. So that's good. I'm going to go on to the next problem. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so black has played... We're white again. Black has played rook takes c6. So my rook on c1 is under attack and undefended. Uh, material is basically even here. The knight can attack the king on f7, so I'll keep that in mind. It can also attack on e4. So there's maybe something to that. Let's see what happens if I take on c6. He moves to c to c6 with the king and it's out of range of my knight so it's doubtful that's the right move but it could be um, I could pin the knight d1 I could pin the d5 knight and attack it next move no so I'm not sure what that would gain me huh Alright, so let's look at knight e4 attacking the king and making it move away from the rook. Yeah, in fact, let's see. Knight e4, rook d7, or sorry, king d7. Why? That doesn't do anything either. Huh. Alright, knight e4, king 
57. And I don't see how to follow up. 94, king d7, rook, or uh, knight c5 do anything? I don't see why it would. You just move back to d6. How about following up with knight b7 there? I just, I just don't see how this is doing anything. So what about knight f7? Forcing the king to move away from the rook. So knight f7, he'll still play king d7, wait a minute, yeah, king d7, at which point I can fork on e6, that's it, that's it, I think that's going to be the answer. So knight f6, king d7, knight e6, fork. Alright, so he attacks the knight, I win the rook for the knight, so I win the exchange, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got that problem correct, and I get 3.4 rating points. I'm up to 1530.3. All right, so we've got a lot of strength on the D file here. The king's not castled. Right away, I see that I could take the bishop on E7, stopping castling. So be careful here, he could force the trade of queens if I don't do anything forcing here. Uh, queen takes c3, then I have to play queen takes c3, rook takes c3, and we've traded queens, I've lost a pawn. So in between, so let's say bishop takes e7, Rook takes c3, uh, queen takes c3, queen takes c3, rook takes c3. And now I've got two rooks on the d file, but d7 is still protected by the, the knight. So there isn't anything there. I'm not sure there would be anyway, just because the, the king could escape to uh, f8. So what about... Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes is checkmate. Yeah, okay. So here it is. Before I play it, I'm going to double check it for you. Uh, rook d8, rook takes d8, queen takes d8, bishop takes d8. Rook d8, being defended by the bishop on g5, uh, is checkmate. This pawn here stops the, the king from escaping this way. So the variation that I might want to look at, though, is rook d8, bishop takes d8. Yeah, I don't think it matters which order it takes it in, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Okay, so I got that one right which gives me 3.6 points more. I'm up to 1533.9, so basically 1534. Gained about 14 rating points this time. I'm going to go on to the next problem. I'm going to make this video too awfully long. Uh, I'll probably do three or four more problems. Uh, okay, so the queen is blocking a check here. Black has played uh, queen e7 to block the check. Here we... Uh, I immediately looked... I. I misread the board and thought I could play knight e5, which that's not what I'm, <laughs> obviously that's not possible, so I just misread the board there. Uh, let's see, and the rook's hanging over here, I want to make sure notice that. So something like uh, bishop g5 probably doesn't work. Anyway, I'll look at it here in a minute, but... I'm not sure what's going on here. Hmm. The deal is that the queen is pinned. So if I did that, if I did bishop g5, queen takes queen. I'm not sure what that's accomplishing. I don't see any follow-ups with two bishops knifing through this. This I don't see any way that that does, does anything other than I could take his rook, but so what? Uh, let's see. What about rook takes rook? Does that just win the rook? 
I guess that's probably as simple as it is. Knight, knight takes d5, queen takes queen. That wins. That doesn't. Okay, knight takes knight. Uh, e takes d5 is fine. I think. Ooh, and in fact, it's with check. So I think the answer here is probably just rook takes h4. The queen's pinned. Therefore, it'll go queen takes f7, bishop takes f7, and white's just won a, a rook for the queen exchange here. In fact, you can't go queen takes e7, bishop takes e7, defending the rook. So I'm going to go ahead and play queen, uh, rook h4. All right. Okay, so that problem is correct, and I gained 2.6 rating points for that one. I'm up to 1536.5. Two more problems. That's how we'll, we'll cut it off. We'll go to this one and one more. All right, this time we're playing black, and let's see. I see queen g1 is a check that we might look at. I see... Well, let's just go ahead and look. Queen g1, we're going to block with um, queen e1. And I don't see much of a follow-up. To it. So we're doubtful that that's the move, although that might come in handy a bit later. Hmm. So the bishop's undefended. That's the thing that jumps up at me right away. This pawn is pinned. Oh, okay, so knight d4 forks everything, doesn't it? Alright, so is there any inner projecting move to knight d4, that's going to be my first candidate. Knight d4, uh, probably the queen will need to move, but there's no checks. So it's just knight d4. That's probably the right answer. I'll look briefly for something better, but that's got to be it. It's knight d4. It's got to be. All right, knight d4. So, okay, he's he's moved to attack g6, so we need to watch watch g6 by uh, taking the rook here, which is what we're going to do anyway. So this is going to win the exchange, so it'll be... We'll just do it. Okay, it says over here, knight takes e6 was a good move, but not the first choice. Please keep looking for another move. Yeah, I really hate it when it does... Oh, I see, because we can take the bishop with check, and then defend uh, g6. So let's take the bishop with check. All right, so I got that one correct. 2.8 more rating points. I'm up to 1539.3. And our last problem for this video. All right, we can see black has played a6. I'm defending the bishop, which was already defended by the rook, but that's okay. Okay, we've got even material seven to six. Actually, white's down a pawn. Uh, oh, it's not even material either. Sorry. White's down a pawn, but up in exchange, so it's, it's nearly equal. Black's bishops are all over the place over here. There's an open file here. Let's see. The bishop is pinned. Okay, the bishop's pinned, so a4. a4, bishop takes, rook takes rook. That's probably going to be the best line. So a4, can the rook do anything active? Can the bishop do anything active? a4, maybe... Yeah, it's got to be a4. Good. So I don't know why that was what he did, but I'm just going to win the, the bishop for a pawn that time. Okay, so uh, that was correct. I gained 2.3 rating points, and my rating is now 1541.5. So I... <laughs> solved five or six problems correctly uh, without too much trouble and my rating jumped from 1520 I think it was 1520.3 at the start and is now 1541.5 here I'll expand so you can see what that looks like I think that works it just slides over um, make sure you can see this is kind of what it says over to the side after you solve the problem and you can see my rating right there went up and the problems rating went down so um, that's chesstempo.com I, I usually uh, 
go a little longer than that, but I didn't want to go too long for a video. Uh, but I thought I would show you guys what that's like if you haven't seen it, and I hope you enjoyed it.